Hi everybody, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. yee Belt! Why would I have a belt? I don't know. I have to first start this video by saying, I was wrong. I was wrong and I'm sorry. I'm so freaking sorry that I was wrong. I don't know how wrong I am, but every day I learn I'm wronger and wronger. This Lucario build is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A, -N -A -N -A. I won't even finish it. You know how it goes. This Lucario build is bananas, <laughs> B-A-N-A-N-A-S. So I haven't run any stacking items really on anyone and I'm running at a, an attack weight on this Lucario and just playing it solo queue in master rank, which I don't even really look at win percentage that much because, you know, it doesn't, it's hard to say how much you can do as one person, right? But even in solo queue, my win percentage with just this build while I was learning it was over 65%. I think this is a seriously legit Lucario build. And I've got a ton of videos of it, but I would just wanna show you a couple matches that I think were particularly good. Basically, I'm a huge bully in lane, and then we are just shoving it down their throats. Uh, I'm scoring a ton, stacking that attack weight. Let me take you into those games. I seriously think this Lucario build is sick. I love it. Here we go. We can take a look at two games here, one where I went top and one where I went bottom with Lucario. I'm running a focus band, score shield, and attack weight, so I'm dropping Buddy Barrier. I know, I know, it's insanely controversial, but let me tell you, this has just been brutal, brutal. All right, let me take you into this first match where I go bottom with Lucario. I think most people play Lucario in the bottom lane. However, lately I've been loving him in the top lane. And I haven't watched all these yet, but I'm just gonna try to give you my thought process as I was going through the match here. So again, I'm heading bottom lane, and I think, is this me laning with Gengar? What was happening there? Oh, he's just taking some of my uh, uh, lane experience. You know, that's pretty frowned upon. I don't really care too much, although as someone who wants points to score, I kind of wish they didn't take it. So right now, this is me, uh, I'm gonna, fight them a bit for this, but I'm actually just running past and I'm gonna dunk right in their goal here. A little controversial, I know. And now I'm going to mess with their Pokemon farm and hopefully steal it. So they're taking that one up top from us, but I'm scoring, which stacks my attack weight, and I'm taking their wild Pokemon. I'm running back here to score again. I haven't watched this since it happened, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. And then I just use quick attack to get out Looks like I'm trying to chase that Crustle. Do we get him? I don't know. He's kind of hard to chase down, right? <laughs> oh, Jake. That's pretty mean. I popped my eject button to go after him. Okay. Headed back down in the lane. I'm going to take those points, and I'm just going to score again. Now we're close to 850, so that means bees are coming up. And I think like a dummy, I don't notice that for a half second. Yep. Watch the clock, Jake. And now I'm just going to try to take as many of these as I can and, of course, deposit that as well. So I got a lot of this here. Obviously, the Vespa Queen is the hardest one to get. Takes the most time. And now I'm thinking, you know, I can actually probably uh, take out Ninetales there. And that would have been a lot better had I not missed my power-up punch. So you can see I'm just being chaotically aggressive in these matches. Again, I'm just jumping in. I'm really trying to not only get wild Pokemon, of course, but I want Ninetales to feel like they have to leave. And by the way, they do have to leave because I am going to KO them. Here I am again, scoring in this goal. So again, just really, really aggressive, making it so that they can't really do anything. And right here, I just want to pull him out. Oh, I see Greninja's coming. I have to leave. Uh, I decide not to. Ooh, that was a that feels like a mistake. Oh no! Why did my eject button do that? Right into the wall. <laughs> you see me tapping the power up punch button like Jake, get out of there. So they take me down there. Bit of a mistake. I shouldn't have been that aggressive, but I do like playing it this aggressive because it keeps them on their heels all game. They have to play defensively, and I like that because it just lets me be a bully. I'm gonna try to take this. Uh, I don't think I can stop him, right? No. Uh, Ninetales trying to take my Pokemon. Come on, Ninetales. You don't have an Execute like I do, buddy. And this Ninetales is getting hit by Gengar here. Ooh, and I decide to go after the Crustle. Fun choice, Jake. 
Just grabbing some berries, making sure I have health. Oh, Greninja! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Greninja. I absolutely want you. And I'm taking Bone Rush as well. So it's Power Up Punch and Bone Rush. And, you know, the big thought here... Jeez, Jake, you are being so aggressive right here. You're going to get yourself KO'd again. That was too much. Uh, if I had my eject button there, that wouldn't have been a bad play. But not having my eject button, that was too aggressive. So my thought here is... I stack a ton of attack early. Right now I'm just grabbing this um, so that I can help with Dreadnought. So my thought here is if I have this buff, wow, that was a weird miss. If I have this buff, I can steal Dreadnought easier. It, it uh, does more damage to Pokemon when they're low HP and my power up punch is an execute move so it does more damage when someone is low HP. So I'm just putting myself in a position to steal Dreadnought if needed. That was my thought here. And whoa, I'm just getting focused down so hard. Okay. Ooh, that nine tails. Ooh. He's in a good position for me to eat him. And they're fighting Dread. I'm just kind of watching it. Just kind of making sure. I might take that. My brain's like, I might take this Pokemon, but more importantly, I just want to watch Dread's health. Let's see. Oh, and they're pulling it. And I decide, do I try to take it here? I feel like I will. Yeah. And I do. Yeah. So that's just what I wanted. It was, you do all the work. I'm going to watch it, and then I'm going to steal it. Because there weren't enough of them down there to do anything. And now I'm trying to score again. This is a big score. It's going to be hard to do. Ooh. So mean. The assassinations are so mean. Oh, I'm standing at a stealth rock. <laughs> Don't get my score off, but our uh, Greninja does a sweet 40. And then I'm running here. So we're not under five minutes yet, which means I had a pretty good shot of getting those points. I didn't end up getting them, and it looks like I get Unite moved. But I had a really good shot of getting those 40 points right there because they couldn't land on me with the jump pad. I actually would have had it if my uh, if my score shield wouldn't have been destroyed from that earlier encounter. So, you win some, you lose some. And again, just playing like an absolute maniac with this build. I'm, I'm playing it probably a little too in their face at times. I let Greninja have that because he's got more. See, I'm kind. I'm a kind man. I'm not just going to score for no reason. And here, I've got a score shield. I'll probably get this 27 pretty easy. Yeah. Pretty easy. Easy score there. And now I'm just backing out, just trying to get some uh, AL synergy and experience here. And now heading up to Rotom. So, again, just scoring a ton early. You saw how much we bullied that lane. And that was with a Blastoise... Uh, if I was with someone who bullies lane even harder, we would have taken that goal pretty easily. Here's me just trying to scare everybody away. Let's see. I'm going after Pika? No. He's too far gone. Crustle's one of those Pokemon where you're thinking, yeah, I'm going to chase down this Crustle. You'll never catch him. <laughs> I mean, you might, but... Uh, Dreadnaw's back. I'm letting everyone know I'm running to Dread. Crustle's doing such a good job, too, because he's distracting me. I'm not paying enough attention. So, running down here to Dread. Oh, Crustle's trying to take that. See? He's distracting me again. Good job, Crustle. But I think if I can get this, I'll help steal Dread in case it's up. I noticed that only my team seems to be at it, so... Just bullying Pikachu here. Had they had to pop their eject button to get out, and we got Dread. So their team was dealing with Rotom in the top lane. Their Crustle was running around doing Crustle things. So no one was there to stop us at Dread. We did get it a little close to Zapdos. It's not my favorite time to grab it. Scoring again. I don't know how many scores I've had so far. I don't really keep track of my attack weight, but I just keep track of scoring over and over and over again. For sure, after this, I need to try some of those like crustal aos cookie builds and stuff like that i'm just scoring again i probably had it in my head that my attack weight wasn't fully ready uh because that was a really wild score and i don't know why i did it do i get out no way no way he's gonna take me down he has to which is fine because we're close to if he took me down at two minutes 24 seconds i'd kind of love that because that's i mean perfect i'll be back in time for zapdos who cares just going up here to farm. 
looks like. I saw Crustal in our bottom lane, but I don't really care if someone takes out bottom lane before two minutes. If you take out bottom lane at two minutes, I would be disappointed. But before two minutes, yeah, destroy it. I don't care. I don't want it there. Uh, and now we're just in the middle here fighting. We got a Unite move from Crustal, so I'm not going to try to dive on that big shield. Let's see. There's Greninja. Can I get to him? No. Get to Blastoise, though. All right. And they unite me. I know I'm saving my unite move for, you know, an alley or something like that. We've got Ninetales scoring in bottom, which is a pretty good score. And I figure to myself, well, if Ninetales is going to score in bottom, I'm going to score top. So if they want to score, I'm going to counter score while it's happening. I'm going to force them to have to try to get Zapdos, basically. So our team fights over it and gets it. And... Uh, going to take some more points and then I see my Pikachu's coming to dunk top so I'm just going to head down here to dunk mid and that's the game uh, we got a minute left I'm sure there's some some defense to be played but I think I'm just taking points and dunking them still figure hey I'm here I got seven points no one's hurt my score shield Zapdos is still up let's dunk a few points and now I'm going back home at least I assume I'm going back home <laughs> just watching me I don't know maybe I'm not I don't know what I'm always doing. And I'm surprised I didn't actually use my Unite inside that big battle. I should have. That was a That's a mistake. I'm too conservative with my Unite moves. Now I'm just throwing it for fun because the game's over. But I'm too conservative with my Unite moves. I get better at it as these videos start to go on. This is one of my earlier uh, Lucario attack weight builds. But there you go. There's Lucario attack weight in the bottom lane. Let me now show you Lucario with attack weight in the top lane. And it's some... Some dominance, baby. It's some dominance. So that was bottom laning with Lucario. This is top laning, and I'm laning with a Blissey. Pretty fun lane, I will say. Blissey's uh, taking some last hits, obviously by mistake. It's running a experience share. It happens. I don't stress about that at all, by the way. Doesn't bother me. I got six, so I can dunk fast. I can also take this Pokemon. It all depends on if they're here. I don't see them, and Blissey's fighting it hard, so I hit that. And let's see, what's my plan here? Oh, I'm just going to walk to it. Yep. Walking in, I have my quick attack up for me to leave, and I take that wild Pokemon. I see that wild Pokemon's low, and I take it. Oh, Jake, you're so mean. You're so mean. And now I'm just running right back to score again. <laughs> I bet I'm going to try to take that wild Pokemon, honestly. Scoring again, and there are junglers here to stop me that fast. So I pop my eject button. Get out of there. Their jungler literally has left the jungle to deal with me. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, I would not leave the jungle this early just to mess with a Lucario. What's the point? Now our jungler's here. Uh, attacking the substitute, I guess. That happens. Oh, do we get him? Oh, I'm pu we pushed him back. Oh, they're all here too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He scores. I don't. I, I. I. know exactly what it was in my head right there. I was looking to score in that moment, but we just didn't have it. Right now, I want to be level five. If I'm level five, I get power up punch, and if I get power up punch, I can assassinate everybody here. Punch that Greninja. Oh, hit the core fish. Come on, game. You gotta give me that assassinate. That's an assassinate, baby. Okay. That just missed everybody. And now I'm just going to dunk some more points. Again, just stacking my attack weight, making it so they never feel safe. Oh, beat Slowbro. <laughs> I'm just scoring again. I don't know all the rules with attack weight. I remember at one point there was some talk as to whether or not you could just score repeatedly. And truly, I have no idea. But what? Oh, no, Greninja. Oh, Greninja. Do I get him? Do I get him? I'm not sure. Honestly, as I'm saying this, I don't remember what happens. So... Obviously, I want Greninja bad. I'm, like, really focusing Greninja here. Oh, I don't think I get him. Nope. Get my champ. I say there's two of them there. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get my champ. So, fighting him here again. And all I'm trying to do is dunk points. Dunk, dunk, dunk points. And then I see Wartortle scoring. I let everyone know I'm heading to the bottom. And that is a top lane, baby. That's just, ugh, mean top lane. Destroying their goal. Enough time to make it down for Dread. Mean top lane, for sure. And, you know, uh, their jungler was wasting a lot of time up there. 
so it's a great lane for us all around. And right now, I'm just trying to make sure that we secure as much of that experience as possible. Something to think about, even in these fights near Dread, is, you know, continue to think about experience. Continue to think about how much experience your team can get. Uh, and, of course, dunking on this goal. I don't even care about dunking on bottom goal with low amount of points. Don't care at all. Get rid of bottom goal so that they don't have an easier road to Dread. That's my whole thought with uh, bottom goal. Right now, we were just, uh, this is a great match for us. I mean, we were just running wild here. Blissey's a really awesome lane partner for Lu for Lucario. A lot of people are great lane partners. The only people I don't love in lane with Lucario is sort of an attacker type. You know, Blastoise is a defender, does pretty well, but, you know, I don't really want to be in lane with Cinderace or something like that when I'm Lucario. I want someone who has more control. I would love to be in lane with Wigglytuff, Alolan Ninetales, Mr. Mime, you know, people with tons of control, the ability to move enemies around. Snorlax, I'm sure, would be a brutal lane. Eldegoss is great because it keeps Lucario alive uh, to an insane degree. And right now I'm just, just focusing down this Rotom. I don't see enemies around anywhere, so I'm not super stressed about it at all. Taking it quick, using that power-up punch. And, uh, ooh, Greninja just have a, has a tap of life left. Let's see, we're pushing down this alley. Sometimes when I push this alley, I like to throw my Unite move down it. Let's see if I do that. It looks like I'm gonna do it, yeah. So I just throw my Unite, um, helps get some KOs, and then hopefully more using my uh, ability. And look at that, we just pushed that goal in hard. So this is just one of those matches where we're, you know, we're hurting them. And I'm thinking, well, if, uh, as long as I'm hurting them, I'm taking their jungle. Snorlax is kind of jumping on me, but there you go, Blastoise. That was for you anyway, buddy. <laughs> it's not a big deal at all. Blastoise actually is great with a red buff. Uh, heading down to bottom lane here. Do I call it? Yes, I do. I call that I'm heading bottom for the next dread, and then I see, you know what? We got 14 seconds. I'm going to take a core fish. I see that one's being pulled. I probably could fight for it, but I'm just going to take this one really quick and then head down to bottom. I call it again just because I noticed it doesn't look like we're mobilizing that well. And now we're getting into a team fight here with this Snore. Ooh! Uh, Snore, excuse me. Slowbro. Really nice Unite move just for staying alive and waiting until his team could get there. Not a bad Unite move from Snorlax. Snorlax! Jeez, Jake! <laughs> How many times are you going to call Slowbro Snorlax? I do it way too much, everyone. Uh, and now I'm just fighting Dread here. Uh, the enemy is going to notice that, and it's going to probably panic them a bit. The other thing that could happen is they might not be able to do anything about it, and we just take it fast. So Blissey has given me that healing, and I'm just now at the point where I'm going, all right, I don't think they're coming, so let's just take this. And there we go. Got our experience at the 3 minute 45 mark, so none of that Dreadnought debuff. And now the name of the game is uh, farming and grabbing Rotom. I don't even really care about Rotom too much here. The t entire top lane is gone. It will be nice because it just gives the enemy something annoying that they have to deal with or points flow into their base. But I really don't care too much about it. All I really care about right now is being a higher level. But this is part of it. It helps. Rotom will help us. So Blissey's here. Quick Rotom. And I'm just going back to farm experience at this point. Core, any core fish I can find, I want, you know, mounted on my wall. Can you imagine mounting a, a Pokemon on your wall? I think in that world, they'd probably arrest you or something, right? I don't even know the rules, honestly. It feels like Team Rocket is an open criminal organization and no one cares. It's like... Real, it, it, it's like the Mafia, except everyone agrees that it's illegal, but still. Ooh, that was an interesting moment. How did I not get that Greninja there? Ooh, Unite moved. Unite moved by this Snorlax. By this slow bro. And uh, we beat him up for it. We beat him up pretty good. And they're fighting that Rotom still over there. You can see it on the, on the mini-map there. They're just dealing with it. And right now, it's just kind of a, you know, all hands on deck for the Zapdos fight because they need Zapdos. We do not need it or want it. Uh, and I am just gathering experience. This is a little too bold, Jake. You don't need to do this. Do I use the pad at least? No. Yeah, you're heading down the middle alley. I guess I see my team there, but still, this is bold. 
You're being a little wild right now, Jake. I, I don't know if if I was the police commissioner, I'd start yelling at you right now, buddy. But I know you're having fun. But these are the moments you could lose the match. I call for a retreat because I see Greninja's going to get caught out there, I think. Yeah. Greninja pops its Unite move, but it wasn't enough. And that's kind of... that's You know, it's on me, too, because I was over there as well. So, you know, I'm just contributing. Both of us were, you know, behaving badly. Do I get him? I can't believe it. Hits the core fish. Still, we get the KO, me and Mime. A good Mime. This Mime was good. Uh, having a good Mime on your team is really nice. Looks like we're dealing with uh, Machamp. Look at that Mime. That Mime's doing some work, man. And we've got their Greninja in middle. We've got their Slowbro bottom. I actually <laughs> power up punch my way into being caught by that. That's kind of funny. And my thought here is just take this person out. Our middle's doing totally fine, you know. Uh, at this point, we could even go. We could even just go to score on them. Honestly, it wouldn't be too bad. But the best thing we can do is just make sure that Zapdos stays alive for a hundred years. I'm here. I'm a Zapdos medic right now. My only job is keeping Zapdos alive. And uh, this guy's really going at me, but I'm not too scared. This alley down here is where I like to throw my Unites, obviously. But um, it doesn't look like we're going to need it. I usually try to save it for a ton of people heading down the alley. But again, too conservative with my Unite moves. I probably could have thrown it five times. And it would have been fine. But I try to throw it down this middle area. Basically, once they're panicked and have to do something, I toss it. So right now, I just see that we're heading into counter score, so I throw it right there. And then, boom. Three on goal. Blastoise, Greninja, and Lucario dunking on him. That's GG. Another good game. Another good Lucario game. Again, these are solo queue master rank games. Uh, I, think I think everyone in this round was a master, and... Just really bullying early, stacking that attack weight, and just using it to KO everybody and steal objectives. I'm loving this build right now. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.